Here we have the Excite Restaurant, which is a uh, <clears throat> fairly low budget, mid-range, upper-class restaurant on the upper northwest south side here of town. We've got a toilet paper dispenser once again, use both hands, because if you use one, it doesn't work. Um, we have a, a mirror here for checking yourself out for prospective dates. Potentially, we have a uh, soap dispenser. A very basic push mechanism to dispense the soap and a sink with a faucet. Good water pressure. Um, left is excruciatingly hot. Right is not so hot. Moving on, we have a, uh, a urinal. This is for uh, upright peeing from the standing position. Uh, obviously the plumbing is automatic because it's been activated without me using it. Uh, overhead tank ballast for, uh, you know, for effect. And then we work our way towards uh, the stall here. There seems to be some sort of uh, color-coded duct tape holding this whole operation together, which Leads me to doubt the uh, <clears throat> the quality of the whole operation. And uh, <clears throat> closing the stall, we find that uh, there is no latch and the hinge swings freely, which is uh, a little disconcerting, you know, precarious situation. If one needs to lock the door, you, you must align the pin and latch. Um, Coat hangers, in case you need to get rid of a coat or something like this. No seat on the toilet. No lid on the back. Um, obviously, they don't want us removing the tank. I, uh, I'm assuming that they've had problems with. Uh, Problems with that in the past. Uh, the toilet is pretty pretty standard, solid construction. Uh, toilet paper on the floor shows a general lack of housekeeping and cleanliness. It's good flush. Yeah. Also, it's uh, good for handicap access, so that's always good to know in case you're bringing the infirm with you and uh, all in all a little bit dingy but definitely spacious and uh, adequate I'm gonna give it uh, seven and a half flushes out of ten I would use it again